<laughs> so we're going to do a question and answer. Anybody's got any questions? <laughs> <laughs> what was that question about the future? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> so we're all good little tortoises and we're plodding away, but is there a trend that you see coming so that we can be ready as we're moving forward as we're moving toward mobile, the internet? What is the big shift that you see in the internet? Well, I think the most interesting the things that are coming, I mean, are pretty obvious like right now. Obviously social, obviously media, obviously local. Um, the interesting thing is when people comment on that, uh, they always comment as if everything else now makes what has come before it gone. So, I mean, for a long time people talked about like the death of email. Email was really the first killer app of the internet. Uh, apps, Wired wrote an article maybe a year, two years ago, um, about how apps were going to be the death of the web. It's like, it's inane, it's insane, because you have this thing called the internet, and the internet merely enables people to use this inter incredible interconnectivity in a wide variety of ways. So before there was the World Wide Web, there were protocols like Finger and all these weird things that you could do to go and get files, and there was still good old emails where scientists could communicate with each other. And then finally, along came the first graphical-based browser, uh, and Dreesen with his Netscape, well, Precursor Netscape, Mosaic became Netscape, and then we had the World Wide Web and we had websites. Um, so people talk about like the death of the website, except why should it die? So the fact that people are using apps means that they may be watching less TV, it means they may be reading less, but when they need information, you still go to the web. People used to ask me like seven or eight years ago, what do people use the web for? They search for information. What do they use the web for now, or what do they use the internet for now? Because it's a lot more of that. The web, you know, they use apps, they'll use social media marketing. Socializing has got really nothing to do with searching for information by the web. The fact that you go for dinner or play golf with a fellow CEO or a VP of BizDev, that's not your business. There's no money to be made from actually doing that. There's really no money to be made by site sales sheer existence on Facebook nor anybody's sheer existence has a Facebook business page. It enhances your main business. It leverages what it is that you're doing on your website, as does email, as can apps. So using apps can be used to enhance your business. It can be used for fooling around. It's increasing the usage of the Internet enormously. Um, the usage of the web and websites, meanwhile, is also going up tremendously. So one doesn't kill the other. I think so more interesting than, you know, the big, the big three are pretty obvious, they were obvious right now. And ever since, uh, what's his name, Rick Perry? Uh, I've lived in fear of having a name of three. It's like, well, there's social media, and there's local, and then... <laughs> what's that third other branch of government again? <laughs> um, but, uh, so, you know, there's, that's pretty obvious. There's nothing else that, that I see that's important that's coming down the road. Yep. Um, I noticed from your latest forum post, because I stalk you, um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the 252 recording is now in Health Health's hands. Wow. I, I, I posted that about 30 minutes ago. You did. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you could share with us maybe the top two or three insights from that. <laughs> 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 yes. <sir. laughs> <laughs> Somebody was going to ask. I wasn't going to Okay, I already posted a, a couple of weeks ago. I think the single best thing, first of all, the panda is really interesting. I was talking to somebody last night. Panda, when you will not inch your way back up. Previously, when you've been hit by major algorithmic things, if an algorithm has hit you, um, and it's been because of whatever, um, there's been no magic, like all of a sudden bounce back. You really had to kind of like just rebuild. Um, with Panda, it's more of a bolt-on. I suspect that Google rushed this to market because it was only after an awful lot of publicity started hitting them really hard all at the same time, suddenly did they have something that, that I've been screaming about for a long time, a solution to PAP. Um, did they have this bolt-on that creates almost its own index and then feeds into the main algorithm what it thinks overall about the quality of the content itself. Um, and it seems to be a smarter version of the algorithm, which does a lot more than figuring out SEO and off-page and so forth and so on. So, first of all, when you get hit, 
by panda, it's, it's kind of like saying, overall, I don't think this site's very good. It's not really looking at anything we know about in general that we've been talking about in terms of how websites rank higher and higher. Um, but there is an overall equation there that when people address the issues that have to do with Panda, you don't inch your way back up, you bounce up. And generally because people are, do more than just whatever it is that Panda actually needs, they find they bounce up higher than ever. So that's the good news when you get it back. And the, what you need to do is the single best parameter to follow as to whether you're making changes that are making a difference is following your, what we call a PPV. Does anybody remember that post in the forums? Pages per visitor. How many pages am I getting per visitor? It's an excellent indication of the quality of your website. Understanding that from 1997 until today, basic mission of the engines has not changed. It is to deliver the best search results possible. The basic fundamental of good content um, will always stand true. I think one of the big things that everybody's taken away um, is Panda. I've already answered 40 questions in the forums uh, from the Panda <laughs> study. And um, it's interesting that some of the questions clearly show that they still don't get it. You know, you don't manipulate the PPV. The PPV happens because you're doing stuff well. And we need to really review all of our content and along the way where we've slipped a little bit off message, where we've allowed links to slide a little bit, where we've allowed this kind of message to slide a little bit. You know, you know we really need to get much stricter. So for the people who are starting to ask me in the last little while, you know, should I be worried about this? What does it mean to me? It means 10 times more than ever, take it seriously. I mean, stick to the tried and proven road. Um, we pointed out some of the areas that are really extra important, but they were already important, like home page, like the overall quality of your content. Follow those basic principles. It looks like you all had the time of your lives. Um, I hope it wasn't all posing for photos and that you took away um, some terrific action steps and next things to do, hard, taking hard looks at your site, and uh, that you know what you need to be doing to bring your site up to that next bar that Google has raised, as opposed to Google just saying, you know what, we want you to do better. At the end of the day, that's really what they're saying. Um, and there's no reason that anybody in this room can't think at that level the way Wendy does. She just doesn't lose track of the core fundamentals that haven't changed, and they won't change. So by taking advantage of those steps, um, I am quite convinced that you will have the baby eagle nest experience. And man, I made it up on the spot. <laughs>